All right, so first off, I do apologize if I do post this, and I wouldn't mind. Um, it is going to be unbelievably herky-jerky, probably as we progress into the video, because I'll probably forget to take a look at the view screen uh, so much. What I'm trying to do, or it's one of the things uh, I wanted to be focusing on the past few days anyways, is, uh, and this is, I would say, I would say perhaps, um, Hmm. Yeah, it's been one of the most intriguing bits for me, the Ottoman Empire, whether or not they can survive or, or how long they can survive um, as an empire in my in my timeline due to the fact of, well, what's been going on is primarily due to the fact that they did a non-aggression pact with the Russians. And it's uh, what I find interesting from what I've been reading and um, listening to uh, lately is it's not that... Um, far-fetched uh, to be honest with you oh, which uh, I that was uh, yeah for me rather surprising so what I'm doing right now is getting ready for January 1915 yet again uh, and um, when I said I find it intriguing that the Ottoman Empire may survive perhaps a bit longer than uh, as an empire um, uh, than in like in the normal timeline is due to the fact, of course, that they're not go they're not at war with the Russian Empire right off the bat. Right now, I'm in my timeline. They are at war with um, uh, the British, and they're just about to go to war with um, the French. The French are going to um, declare war on the Ottoman Empire due to the fact that it's going to be like push comes to shove with the Brits. They're gonna uh, the way I'm doing it in my in my timeline. It's kind of like they're like. Look, if you guys want us to also help you in France, like we're not just going to help out the Belgians, uh, you got to kind of make it, you know, a bit of solidarity with us because the Russians are freaking, you know, not doing anything with the Ottomans and, uh, you know, kind of like at least just, you know, a gesture of whatever. And obviously, it's going to help out massively in the Mediterranean and whatnot. But uh, that being said, I'm going and uh, this is still, I've got to do a lot more reading. I think, so what I'm doing here, that's kind of like a trade-off. Uh, reason being is, the way I'm playing it, I don't know if you remember, is I've putting in that, uh, what I'm calling like the, the deportation kill switch. Once uh, the Ottoman Empire um, hits uh, shaken national morale and it's woefully low. It's 350 demoralization points. Once they've incurred that much, uh, shaken national morale kicks in, which means they're no longer allowed to do um, supplied attacks. And in my world, they start trying to look for someone to blame. And I'm using the mechanism of when Germans kick in the uh, unrestricted submarine warfare and the way that uh, starts getting the Americans into the war, I'm using that mechanism to kick in the Russian Empire going, whoa, 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 what the hell's going on here? And then they decide to declare, uh, to declare war on the Ottomans. That being said, that's why I was like, it's good. Okay, if you were playing a player going up against the Ottomans in my timeline, you would love to probably get them to um, be on the offensive or have to do, like, uh, take... Well, I'll take demoralization. You've got to get. You've got to poke them with a stick, uh, because um, they're not going to. They're not going to have that deportation kill switch kick in. Um, it's, it's going to take a long time. Anyway, so we're going to go. I think this is what's uh, going on with my timeline. When we kick into, and it's kind of like a good trade-off for both sides, uh, due to the fact that I think in historically, in no. Okay, here I'll point a little bit here. So over here, that's uh, Kerna, and they take, uh, the Brits take that in December, I do believe. Gosh, I'm ever shaking like, well, no kidding, I, I drink coffee like there's no tomorrow. Um, so this is part of their protection. Uh, they sent over Indian troops. I'm starting to read that this was a uh, primarily an, Indi um, an Indian jurisdiction like uh, to take over if uh, hostility started to occur. Uh, this is to protect the oil fields um, in Persia and, and whatnot, and 
historically what I th uh, found out I, from what I'm finding out is when they hit uh, took Kerna in December it was kind of like that's all you needed to that's all they needed to do uh, and that would have been more than enough to um, protect the oil fields and uh, their interests in Arabia and everything like that but I guess they were so close to Baghdad a lot of the politicians and everybody else and yet again boy this was going pretty well um, so let's just keep on trucking and that's when they got into trouble you know they took uh, well they took Ali Garba and then they went into Kut and uh, Kut and then they were like so close I think like a hex and a half away in Develt Creek terms um, towards back now am I wrong about that probably maybe yeah let's not say that yeah no 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 they withdraw back to Kut so and uh, it doesn't um, and then after, and now we're in that in the middle of that where it's uh, you know they're under siege Anyway, so we're supposed to be talking about my timeline kind of thing. So what I'm doing is I'm speeding it up a little bit because we're in mid-November. So I'm going to say that the British take Kerna and stop and start trying to and think about what they're going to do come January. This helps. I'm not. That's why I don't have any of the Ottoman troops on here. I'm just using the headquarters here. So that's where I'm going to end up having a Fourth Army headquarters. And so what I'm doing right now is the Ottoman Empire are not going will be at zero demoralization points come January, even though obviously there's been some combats and so on and so forth for that you know to be uh, for them to be driven out of all that area. Um, that's the way I'm going to do it. So it helps that and it helps me out too. It's going to draw out the narrative. I hope they stay in before this kill switch hits. Uh, the third army is more or less like a link up uh, as you know as the Caucasian army that was up here uh, it, uh, doesn't need to be as strong anymore so I've got the fifth army over here uh, headquarters and all those little red dots are just spots they're like uh, towns or whatnot I just thought whatever uh, this all started off well it's been well today for today what it started off and that's just like my gee I wish I think the black ones are for the yes they're the uh, the areas that if the Ottomans take uh, those spots are taken uh, that's where uh, they lose uh, demoralization points I do believe I think the red ones are just uh, don't uh, as far as I know there's like Damascus and whatnot um, and there's the second army first armies in Constantinople that's in another um, another place so we've got two things I wanted that well another thing I wanted to show you was the book and I'm sorry like I said this is gonna be god-awful jerky well of course like I said here I'm uh, using this with one hand and um, and drinking coffee like a mother is the oh, hold on let me get my glasses so I can see what the hell I'm looking at hold on I'm gonna move them over here um, so this partially started because of the Berlin uh, Baghdad Express book and I was looking trying looking up just to try to get a uh, picture of what the Ottomans were up to militarily economically and politically like in a strategic sense and I was looking at this map over here and that got me to look, thinking about the Durvel Creek maps and so on and so forth. Oh yeah, this is on a side note. I, I mean, a nice little thing about uh, what I could use if you know for die roll modifiers uh, with um, if I wanted to uh, inflict guaranteed for two hits. What would happen? Yeah, it works quite nice. I just look down very quickly. But I don't know if you remember. But if we go over here, gosh Almighty, am I ever? Oh, well, tough. So it goes. So that's the British where they want. Remember, they're the ones that declared war on the Ottomans. They jumped the gun on everybody. They were kind of like, um, "Geez, I'm just finding out about Churchill and the whole nine yards about that type of stuff." Um, anyways, so they they are wanting to do. I think it would be called the Ninth Crusade or something. They're going to try to take uh, Jerusalem over there and so on and so forth. So what I've decided to do, and this is another thing I really, really want to get into is because I constantly keep reading, especially with the Ottomans and the Germans, is all these intrigues. And I was like, well, uh, someone is calling it politically somewhere right now the Ninth Crusade in British terms. I remember saying in my little uh, book and whatnot, and I think even in a video, going, uh, they cert someone said right off the bat, you can't be using that, man. Are you out of your flipping tree, especially where you're going and uh, you're using Indian troops on and on and on. You had to, you know, so they went with something else. I can't, oh, it was called, oh, it was something nice, but certainly wasn't called uh, the Ninth Crusade or any of that stuff. Mind you, it's being done on uh, Ascension, I do believe. Uh, it's, uh, they've uh, planned it uh, to start going towards uh, uh, that area on Ascension. So anyways, I'm rolling a, I'm going to do this every, 
um, month or I'm going to use it the whatever. So it's going to be, and like I said, later on, if um, certain, uh, let's say the uh, the Ottomans or the Germans want to expend supply every month towards uh, increasing their intrigue uh, abilities, um, uh, so be it. But of course, they're going to reduce their other abilities. I don't know. I'm just still, like I said, I'm in flux here. What are the odds? One in a hundred. I, I always do this to myself about like, what are the odds when I go to roll? I'm like, that's why you're rolling, you idiot. Right, let's go here. So that's a 35, so it didn't happen. Not even, well, whatever. Sorry about the, that, and that's that. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, just uh, right now, I'm going to go over the uh, Javelkrieg rules, go and take a look at some, uh, uh, so I can take a look at the orders of battle again. I was looking at all my notes. They've been around just over there, and I was like, they're so old. I don't know what the hell I was re uh, writing, or like, in what context anymore. I'm like, this is almost like I need to decipher my own stuff. So I'm like, it, there's a lot of stuff there, but I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking. Jeepers jumping. So, yeah, I guess I'll just have to start from scratch. And maybe that once I start that, then it'll go, okay, now I know why the notes are the way they are. Because it's obviously the same person doing it. So that'll help me out that way. All right, that's it. Yeah, look at that, eh? So uh, right now the British are, are in good spots. As in they haven't decided to uh, stick their neck out. You know, cooler heads have prevailed, I guess, for now. But will they come January? I mean, yeah, come January 1915. And now the Ottomans get to um, start mobilizing and especially the, bringing down the Caucasian. Well, they got no one else to fight against. So that's where the British have to start using their, uh, their heads and going, okay, we can, you know, well, they don't know that. But, I mean, you know, in another level, maybe they do. Uh, about maybe that's uh, one way where they're like there's a lot of people that want to blame the whoever's if it's things go wrong <clears throat> that's interesting I didn't think about it that way it could be a reverse intrigue of trying to force the like someone says yeah we have to sacrifice or be like go on the offensive towards Palestine and so on and so forth so what I was thinking is this is a great little uh, troop sink uh, or a resource sink uh, less so for the Brits if they're smart and if they can just entice the, the Ottomans down here. And what I've been reading anyways, whoever took over in this spot uh, for the Ottomans um, uh, was extremely like, I really want to get um, this spot back. Uh, Shal al-Arab or something. I have to go and look that up. But that was the big spot that they got. And well, obviously then Basra. Okay, that's it. I'll lift that off. Jeez, man, this is fun as hell. Okay, see you later.